on here and uh, this is going to be another one of those like pack related videos but this is going to be a bit different because I'm not going to be opening any packs I'm going to show off some of the cards that I do have from past years when I was a kid and stuff like that um I'm not going to show the ones from like that 2013 pack or the 2020 pack because for obvious reasons they're on the channel already so um these are going to be uh just showing off cards that I have from previous his years of history of rugby league, which one of which is going to be really old. W one of them, because one of the actual card sets I, I have, well, it's not mine, it's certainly my father's, is 40 years old. So that'd be very interesting. But first off, I want to start with this one because I actually genuinely have zero uh, idea what year this card is from it's a scott prince superstar one it's got a silver and then it's like on the back it's like all his nickname and stuff like that i honestly couldn't tell you which year this is from but uh yeah it is a rather interesting uh interesting card i don't know which year it's from but we're just going to solve for that one Next one is a 2015 one, and now these these are these are power play cards. If I can just bring one up here, there it is. There's one of them. I only got three of these cards because I think these were given out during I think it was a Knights game. So here you got Titans. So you got Luke Douglas. Yeah, you got a. Uh, I personally don't remember him. I think I think this might have actually been a Knights Titans game. To be fair. So you got a second one, again, it's another Titans player, it's Luke, it's Greg Bird, sorry. I do remember him, he played for New South Wales a fair bit. And then of course you got, from the Knights, you've got Kurt Gidley, arguably one of the best players the Knights have had in our modern era, I'd say. Yeah? Okay, those are 2015. We actually have a big bundle of these is 2010 which you can tell from these uh these designs and uh one of the big factors was because it was the 30 uh year 30th year of state of origin so they would have these cards which are like past and present uh modern state of origin legends so you got for example here brett kenny uh for the blues and ex another example here is uh gordon tallis for queensland so from the other players we got here, we've got uh, we've got Ben Cray, and with the um, normal cards, they actually had an attack and defense because there was actually like a game component to these. So you got uh, Ben Cray with ninety four defense and eighty five attack. Then you got uh, Adam Cuthbertson, who's uh, not as great as a uh, bloody hell. Ben Cray must have like one of the highest rated ones. But then again, this was two thousand and ten. And St. George did end up winning the premiership that year, so it might have something to do. It's uh, this, so there was two different versions of these State of Origin Legends cards. Uh, what, so you had the gold-tinted ones, which were the uh, the past legends, and then you had the, mo the silver ones, which are the modern legends. So you have Jamie Lyon here for New South Wales. And do I have one of these for Queensland? I don't think I do. The others are... Uh, yeah, the, so I do have... Two others of the modern ones, but they're both New South Welshmen. You got uh, Luke O'Donnell from... I don't know which team he played for. Balmain, West, and Cow... I think it was a Cowboys player. And uh, Andrew Ryan. And for some reason, me looking through this set, a bit of a spoiler, Andrew Ryan pops up a lot <laughs> for some reason. And from the other Queensland ones I have, you got uh, from the past, you got Paul Vorton. Yeah. Obviously, the uh, the host of the footy show. And the last one, probably, if I had to choose a favourite uh, Queensland pl as player, would definitely be uh, uh, Langer, who's now the water boy for Brisbane. So from the other players, let's just go through. 
from this uh, from this bundle. You've got a uh, Matthew Scott from uh, the Cowboys. You got Kirk Gidley. Get Kirk Gidley ninety four attack. That's a that's a pretty good pretty good thing. You got uh, someone who's upside down. You got Chris Bailey from the it was NRL Super Coach. That's what it was. You got Chris Bailey from the Manly Warringah Seagulls. You got Ashley Graham from the Cowboys. You got Luke O'Donnell again from the Cowboys. Antonio Winterstein from Brisbane. I definitely don't remember this guy. Anthony LaFranchi from the Titans. I do remember this guy. Uh, Michael Luck from the, the Warriors. Then you got Kevin Locke from the Warriors as well. Okay, you got David Shillington from Canberra. You got Justin Hodges from Brisbane. One, he's probably in terms of all like the past players to commentators. I think he's probably one of the wor worst ones. Then you got Yelene Gordon from uh, the Bulldogs. So that's two thousand and ten. Now we go a year previous with two thousand and nine. And you can kind of tell these the 2009 ones predominantly because when these cards came out, they had, at the end, instead of this, they had uh, the Dally M cards. So here's uh, Andrew Johns with uh, 98, 99, 2002, three Dally M medalists. Obviously, Knights legend. And they also had uh, these captains and mascot cards. So if I can just bring these up. So for example... You have these silver ones. So 2009 captain Steve Price from the New Zealand Warriors and Andrew Ryan again, this time for the Bulldogs. And then with these mascot cards, here's one of them, for example, is you got Boots, which is the mascot for the Cowboys. Don't know if he's still the mascot, to be fair. Uh, you got the uh, the Sharks one out here. His name is Reefy. I'm fairly certain... They don't have those kinds of names. I don't know what the Knights one was called. But the, we also got the Dragons one known as Scorch. I don't have the full set of these. I do have... I did have the full set for the 2008 ones. But I honestly have no idea where they've gone. And then the last one for the... Uh, the captains is the, the co-captains of the Gold Coast Times. You got... I think it's Luke Bailey and Scott Prince. So go for them. So now, is there any more of those cards, or you can just go to the big conglomerate of players? So here we are. So first off, we've got Dean Hallett Hallett from the uh, the West Tigers. You got uh, Saitamata Saar from the Roosters. Lance Hohaya from oh wait, that's from two thousand ten. I don't know how we got in here, but there's a uh, there's old mate. You got Ben Roberts from the Bulldogs. You got Nathan Smith from the uh, Penrith Panthers. Jeremy Smith for the uh, when he played at St George. Nick Kenny for when he played for Brisbane. And probably one of the most underrated players the Knights ever had, Cooper Vuna. I think he was there for the Knights. I remember he it was against Brisbane. When the uh, Knights were wearing the Indigenous jerseys, that I think it was that year where they scored like he scored like four tries, and then he went to uh, Union. You got Jamie Lyon again this time with Manly. Oh, how do you pronounce it? I'm gonna I'm gonna try. Is could focus on the name with the first name. Manasi Manua Kafawa for the uh, the Cowboys. Hey, look at this young little boy. This is uh, Sean Kenny Dow when he was at the Roosters. How old is he? First grade to be was round two thousand, round one, two thousand and seven. So he would have been, he would, he would have been like twenty one at this point. So yeah, there he is. You got Brett Kamali for the Bulldogs. There he is. You got Luke Patton again for the Bulldogs. Got Matt Matt Cooper. For St. George. And you also got uh, Jason Nightingale for St. George. I think there's two more to go. You got Luke O'Donnell for the uh, the North Queensland Cowboys. And Dean Collis from the West Tigers. And that's 2009. 
Now we're going to take it back a little bit further now. We're going to the mid-90s. 1995. I only have two cards. These I do have more of these, but I have no idea where they are. So these are the two cards you first bring up. So this is a Matt Sears rated rookies card from 1995 when he, uh, for North Sydney. So there is uh, his uh, pro profile. You can pause it if you want to read the full thing, if you can focus on it. But there he is, Matt Sears for uh, one of the r rookie stars, rising stars of nine from 1994. And then you've got a Dally M card here. It's, it's in a bit of tatters. But as you see here, it is Cliff Lyons from when he used to play for Manly. In, it's called Winner's Circle. I think this is... Yeah, he was a da the Dally M winner. So here. Absolute uh, legend Jerry Plyer there for Manly. And that's it for the year And now the moment you're all waiting for in this box here is cards from 1981. These are my dad's one. He's in a box which says the Newtown Jets, but there is predominantly New Town, and there's a few Penrith players. But one thing that does need to be said, he did. My dad did have a Parramatta set, but he has no idea where it is because uh, my, my majority of my family members predominantly supported Parramatta before the Knights came in. So this is 1981. So I think it's like nearly all of the Newtown players would be in here. So here we go. So we're just going to open the first one and uh, start off the bat. Talk about Newtown, uh, the great man himself, uh, Tommy Radonikus, who just recently passed away. So it's, it's series one. So these would have to be one like one of the oldest cards. So here was the halfback for Newtown. This was the year that uh, Newtown would go on to uh, go to the grand final, but unfortunately for them, they would lose to Parramatta, which was the first of Parramatta's. Uh, three premierships in a row so then you've got uh you got shane mckellar who was a central winger who was from goldburn so he's a uh, another newtown player uh david mooney who was a second rower for uh for newtown his cards are relatively looking pretty good despite the age so you've got another you've got michael hobgy who was a fullback or center he was from, uh, there he is. He, oh, he looks young there. Born 28th of uh, of April 1961. So he would have been, he would have been 20. So yeah, he does look distinctively younger. But Steve Bowden, he was a front rower. Now you can pause if you want to read the, uh, like the cards, like the backings of them. Oh, and this looks like a, uh, to be an old bike. Uh, Steve Blith. Second rower or front rower, born 1954. Look at this, uh, absolute uh, Donny. Got a, uh, another player here. Got Ray Blacklock, who was a winger or centre. He joined New Town in 1901 after six years with Penrith. So it would have been a bit of an interesting decision in terms of rivalry that comes from Western Sydney clubs. You got another player here. You've got uh, Graham O'Grady. 1953, who was born. Graham has gained representative honours with Illawarra and also played with Western Suburbs, like Tommy Rodonicus there. Actually, I should... Yeah, it's not exactly full up top. This bike looks young as well. Phil Sigsworth, fullback or 5'8". So, yeah, he pretty much would be, be like 21, 22 at this point. Oh, the camera, then you got another... Yeah, so it's predominantly Newtown, but I think I, I, when I'm going through this, there's a few Penrith players. So you've got Chris Doyle, who was a winger or centre for Newtown. you got a uh, another. It's about you got Jeff Hunt, who was a 5 8 or a centre. Uh, you got a. <laughs> you got Paul Akari from. Uh, oh, he. Oh my god. 12th of the. 12th of January 1963, so he would have been like 1920, 19 or 20 when he played in that season. <clears throat> you got uh, you got Michael Ryan, who was a centre. Played his junior football for Tweed Heads. Shout out to Tweed Heads. This bloke's definitely a, a forward. Yep, he's a front rower. 
Jeff Budgen, born 1960, so he'd been 21. As I say, how tall he is, he says he's 6'2 and 104 kilos. That is a person you don't want to mess around with. Especially in that time of league when it was, like, at that level. You got, uh, this is probably a definite front rower. Oh, he's a second front, talking to a second rower, Jim Walters. You got another another one of these plays here. You got Cole Murphy, who was a five eighth lock or second rower, so I think he might have been the utility of the uh, of the Newtown team. Got another player here. It's John Ferguson, who was a winger. There, there he is. I'm just trying to make sure everything's in frame and all that. Oh, there, oh how many are there? There's a lot of Newtown players. Let's have it a big squad. So here's a. Uh, Car which is a little bit more aged. Got Brian Hetherington, who was a winger or center. Next up is Ken Wilson, who was a utility back. And now here's one of the Penrith. He's a Penrith player. Uh, trying to figure. It is, it is Mark Levy, who was a center for uh, for Penrith. Would have been a very interesting year of bunch of years because obviously Penrith wouldn't win. A premiership till ninety one, so it've been very interesting times. You got Taz Batieri, who is a he's from Blacktown, Paris District on nineteenth tour of New Zealand. I was about to say because I thought he was from New Zealand. Would have read there, but there, there he is. Got another one here, that is Barry Jensen, who was a hooker. You can see definitely see start seeing like the aging on these sides. Now this 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 look definitely sums up the eighties. The uh the the uh the, the Harley Davidson mustache of the motorcycle. You've got Wayne Ducker who was a front row. Wayne is highly regarded at Penrith. His junior clubs were Canberra Matter and Canley Vale. He played in the SG Ball and Jersey Flag com competitions. Wayne is single and a carpenter. Wait, 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 he said he's single in his trading card. That is amazing. Oh my god. Wayne Ducker, he's um he's my idol. He's my idol. Good on him. Okay, we got another Penrith player. We got David Cartwright. He's a landscape guarder. Yeah, because majority of these players back then would have had normal jobs as well. What other job do they also say what other jobs they have or is it just So I think all of them actually have like specific uh like character like uh, like characteristics. Is that is that Daryl Broman? Oh my god it is. It's Daryl Broman. Front or second row. Daryl joined Penrith for nineteen seventy nine where he's played forty three first grade matches, Brisbane born. His former clubs was Norse Brisbane. Daryl is a good attacking player in his excellent kicker. He's a labourer and married. Oh, look, that is the big man right there. How how tall is he? He was a, what, six foot one and he's 102 kilos. Bloody hell. Uh, so all of them have, like, say, the jobs. So, he, so Taz Barati says he's single and a welfare officer. I'm fairly certain it. Oh, they only say for the Penrith cards, like, oh, if they're single or what job they have. So we go back to a new town. You got Mark Budgeon, who was a oh, what was he? He was a hooker. Next one, you've got Mark o Ogilvy. He was a centre winger, lock or second row. That's a big variety of uh, players. And uh, <laughs> gee, I wonder who this is. It's definitely not like it's Phil Gould or anything. Yep, it's Phil Gould. <laughs> As a second row, Phil joined Newtown in 1981 after five years with Penrith. He's a clever ball distributor and he's a reliable goal kicker. He's married and employed as a credit officer. In his spare time, he enjoys fishing and basketball. There he is. There's the uh, the man himself. I've got a few more of these as well. So you got... Uh, this one, you got Michael Pittman, who is a, a second rower. He's single, employed as a labourer, and his spare time, he, train, he trains greyhounds. Uh, I don't know. I've got to have to reboot back this, because I never actually fully read the backs of them, so we, you can find out about what they are. 
Okay, next one, you got Mark O'Brien. He's single and works as a butcher. So it's, it's really weird because back, especially back in those times, you needed you needed jobs. You couldn't be like solely playing league. So it's a very interesting uh, a time in history. So you got uh, another one of these players. You've got Craig Ellis, a second rower or a front rower. He's single and an accountant. Good, uh, good, good for him. Okay, next up we have got. Uh, let's just flip the card around. You got Bill Greck, who is married and employed as a machine operator. His relaxation enjoys cricket and squash. Be very interesting to see if cards reserve back to this, like uh, like Callum Pong is saying he's single and he in, he in his spare time he enjoys going to the clubs in Newcastle, or going like the green roof or something like that. Okay, next up is Ron Sigsworth who is a utility back. He's single and works as a spray painter. Good for him. Oh, that that's now that's a beautiful hairdo. This would have been the Pappenhausen of his day. It is Paul Morris, a 5'8". He's single and employed as a builder's laborer. So they've all got tradies jobs predominantly, all of these players. So you got here, it's another Newtown player, and on the back it is Jim Emerian. He was a second rower slash front rower. He's single and employed as a clerk. And then these, um, okay, so the, this is the last of the actual cards. I believe this is the coach. Yep, there, uh, uh, there he is. So there is the coach card. It is Warren Ryan. Uh, he's, a he's also a teacher at Balmore High School. So it is weird how these are. So the last three cards are predominantly just... You can vote for uh, Clubman of the Year to vote for uh, who should be Clubman of the Year for that year. Then it's got like a, a history card here for Newtown, if I could get votes. Royal Blue, nicknamed the Jets, founded 1908. Henson Park is their home ground. Their premiers are 1910, 933, 943. They're running up this many years. Ken Wilson is the captain and Coach Ryan. And Coach Ryan is Coach Ryan. And then it's just a bit of a history ballot of uh, of the Newtown team, of the club. So yeah, very interesting set of cards. So that's the end of the video. Tell me what you guys saw in the uh, comments below. And um, if I do find the other cards, I might make a second video to it. So yeah, thank you all for watching and uh, I'll see you later.